Hey everyone and welcome back to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. In this video I'm going to share with you 12 rare CB radios that are hard to find. So let's roll that intro and get things started. So in this video I'm going to tell you about 12 rare CB radios that are hard to find. These aren't the rarest radios and this isn't a top 12 list. I just made this list for CB radio enthusiasts. And if I was able to locate any of the prices of these radios while I was researching, I've included their prices as well but only a few of these radios were able to be found available. Now, let's get started. The first radio I'm going to mention is the T-Berry Stalker 20. Now I found two of these radios for sale when I was looking them up online. One was $899 and the other one was $950. Next up is the Tram D300. Again, I found two of these radios available for sale online while I was researching them. One for the price of $539.99 and the other for the ridiculously high price of $2,499. <laughs> there is no way I could ever bring myself to pay that much for a used radio. The next radio in our list is the SBE Land Command LCB-8. At the time I made this video, I wasn't able to find one of these online for sale, so I can't give you a price for them. I've talked about this next radio in my videos before. It's the ARF 2001. With only 1,000 of these being made in the early 1980s, this one is definitely a rare radio to find. I couldn't find any for sale online, so I can't give you a price, but I will say that I would like to add one of these to my radio collection one day. Next up is the GE Superbass 3-5875A. I did manage to find one of these online Way! in Portugal. Yes, I said Portugal. What? And that radio was $490. The next radio in our list is by Communications Power Incorporated. And that radio is the CPI CP2000. This is another radio that I couldn't find for sale online anywhere. <coughs> but if you can find one, it's definitely worth getting. Moving along, our next radio in this list is the Craig L-201. I couldn't find one of these for sale online anywhere. So again, I don't know the pricing of these radios. But do yourself a favor and keep an eye out for one. The next radio on the list is a T-Berry Stalker 12, which looks like a T-Berry Stalker 20, but this is an AM only radio. The Stalker 20 is an AM and sideband radio. Once again, I couldn't find one of these online for sale anywhere, so I don't know the pricing on this radio either. <coughs> Coming up next, I have the Royce 642. 
There aren't any of these that are currently online either. So again, I don't know the pricing on these radios. Not being able to find a lot of these radios online while I was making this video shows you just how hard it is to find some of these radios in this list. So, next up is the Stoner Pro 40, a really nice sideband only CB radio. Of course, I wasn't able to find any of these for sale online either, but I have seen them a few times for well over two to three thousand dollars when they do come up for sale. Next up, I have the Robin SB540D which is a very nice radio. Again, there aren't any of these that are currently online either. So again, I don't know the exact pricing on these radios, but I have seen them from time to time and they can average anywhere from $500 to $1,000. And the last radio in this list is the Mark Sidewinder 46. And believe it or not, I did recently find one of these for sale online. And it's selling for $625. So that's my list of 12 rare CB radios for you to look for. I'd like to remind everyone to look for Raccoon's Radio Ranch on Facebook. And we're now on Instagram too. And don't forget to click the link below if you're going to shop at Amazon. Thank you. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up and like the video. And be sure to share it with all your friends and family. Click the subscribe to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.